In this video, we take a look at the top 10 city building games coming in 2022. Gourd is a single-player adventure strategy game containing elements of survival and city building. The player's task is to lead the people of the Tribe of Dawn as they venture deep into the Forbidden Land and create settlements that will protect them from many threats that lurk in the area, be it attacks from other clans, beasts or supernatural forces. You will be given several missions that will later shape the personality of your community, affect their well-being, and you also have to watch your townspeople closely as everything from illness to starvation and death of relatives can have a devastating impact on their lives and well-being. What's also interesting about this game is that you can set the stage by choosing from a variety of scenario options, such as the main objective, choose the level size, attack intensity, the environment you are playing in, the type of enemy you will be and so on. There is no definite release date for this game yet. The plan is that this game will be released in 2022 for PC. In this game, we are the leader of a group of people and our task is to build a prosperous settlement. We are given the freedom to start the game from finding the right place to finish. Before deciding on the perfect layout, we must pay attention to the terrain and access to valuable resources. What I like the most is that we are free to carve the land, combine rivers, shape lakes and use your tools to shape your settlement exactly the way you want it. Other than that, there are many things to do in this game like you need to provide shelter for your people, as well as produce food, acquire various resources and craft various items, protect them from natural threats and care for their well-being, happiness, education and work. You can already play this game on Steam. This game is still in the early access and got very positive review. I really enjoy building and visual infrastructure in this game. You must try it. If you are enjoying this video, please subscribe and share the video. Farthest Frontier is an upcoming city builder game. The player is tasked with building a city in the wild and protecting it from several threats. You can hunt, harvest, fish, and farm as you craft items and strategies on how best to protect your villagers. What makes this game so unique is its most detailed farming system ever. You can strategically choose from 10 crops with unique growth characteristics and configure crop rotation to maintain soil fertility, avoid heat and frost damage, and prevent disease accumulation. The game also includes a pacifist mode for those who don't want to engage in combat. This game now has a release date. It's slated to launch into early access on August 9 and will be released on PC. This game looks like the Settlers game we've been wanting. Manor Lords is a game that combines city building and strategy developed by Slavic Magic. The player's task is to build and develop your medieval village and turn it into a big city. Manor Lords will give players complete freedom of placement and rotation, but uses snapping tools to make planning more convenient. The growth of your towns and villages can be affected by many things such as changing seasons, changing weather, war, disease, or famine. You will not plant houses and businesses one after the other in various places, but they will eventually come with growth. Additionally, you can get into deeper, real-time battles with warring factions featuring infantry, cavalry, forts, and more. You can position your troops with the right strategy. Smaller forces can defeat bigger enemies. Mander Lords has no release date yet. This game is a project started by a solo developer. Timberborn tells the story of beavers after the great apocalypse who rebuild the earth after all humans have long been extinct. The main plot in this game will focus on the life of the beaver and its natural enemies, namely the weather and the wild. Sounds pretty simple, right? However, 
It is precisely behind this simplicity that Timberborn becomes an interesting game. Beavers are smart engineers, and much of your job as a beaver town planner is to build dams, spillways, canals, and more to control flow of rivers that produce new rivers, and fill reservoirs. The reservoir is vital when the flood comes. This game is still in the early access so it will continue to be developed while it can be purchased and played. Well, this game has many positive reviews from all gamers. Pharaoh A New Era is a remake of the old city builder strategy game released in 1999. The player becomes the ruler of Egypt. Your task is to build the city and manage all aspects of its development to ensure it prosper. Develop your city from stone to stone and cultivate the fertile land along the banks of the Nile Valley. You can also build iconic monuments of ancient Egypt, including the pyramids, the Sphinx, and the lighthouse of Alexandria. You have to take care of the people and do whatever it takes such as building temples and tombs to help manage all aspects of the health and culture of your city, as well as the dominant polytheistic religion of the time. But you also have to be able to deal with economic or political crises or even looting by the enemy. There is currently no known information on Pharaoh A New Era release date. Against the Storm is a roguelite fantasy city builder. During the game, we play the role of the Viceroy and your job is to rebuild the capital city of smoldering city from the storm that destroyed the world. You lead humans, beavers, lizards, and harpies, one more city building game with beavers in it. Lead them to reclaim the wilderness and gather resources. To do this, we must build new settlements in the wilderness and unlock new technologies for the last survivors of civilization. And of course you have to watch out for strong storms that periodically destroy everything in its path. The game will have 5 different biomes. Each city location presents a unique challenge with hundreds of gameplay modifiers, so your gameplay will never play the same game twice. You have to adapt your strategy to changing weather conditions and experiment with settlement. This game is scheduled to be released in Q4 2022 for PC only. This game reminds me of Warcraft 3, can't wait to play. Builders of Egypt is an economic type of city building. Another game with the theme of ancient Egypt takes place in the valley of the Nile. You can freely design your city such as forming a road grid placing buildings and a well-designed city. Later will greatly increase economic efficiency which can be converted into city income. And of course, you can make ancient Egyptian monuments such as Mustabas, Obelisks, Karnak among others, Ramesim and Pyramids. You can observe the slow construction process. A team of carpenters, masons, Architects and ordinary workers will construct the building step by step. In this game later, you will face many choices of diplomacy and politics. A series of wrong choices can lead to the loss of trading partners and low interest in the city by the settlers. In addition, a complete lack of obedience to the ruler can end in civil war. There is no release date for builders of Egypt yet. Sweet Transit is an economic strategy in which we build rail networks and develop cities. Trains are the only means of expansion and transportation in this game so it's your job to create, design and build your own township until people flock to your town. You have to be able to create efficient production lines and at the same time develop a simple village. Start small with only warehouses and routes to the outside world, up to a metropolis. Your citizens have needs and are tired when they work, so it is important for you to maintain the happiness and needs for your citizen by ensuring they have accommodation, water, food. You can also build factories and farms, manage your resources, link sites with train routes, expand your operations, Schedule trains and shelter for your workers. 
ensure they are connected by roads and rails and more to improve your city. Sweet Transit will be coming to early access on Steam July 28th. This game is an interesting blend of Anno style city building with Factorio. Frostpunk 2 is an upcoming city building game where players battle with extreme weather ready to take the lives of those who were caught off guard. Players must make decisions that may be immoral in the name of survival. This is what makes the city building game from 11-bit studios Frostpunk so beloved by its fans. Because unlike many similar games where the focus is on building an effective infrastructure, Frostpunk continues to take you through tough choices to make. This second series will be a sequel, 30 years after the events of the first series. This second series no longer uses coal as the main warming resource. 11-bit studios has yet to announce an exact release date for Frostpunk 2 other than confirming it will be available for PC. In which games are you really interested? Please put your thoughts in the comments down below and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, see you in the next video, goodbye.